It's great to have your company for the February 2021 reporting season preview. I'm Jessica Ramirez, a market analyst on behalf of Bell Potter. Well, reporting season, it's dubbed Christmas for investors and gives you the opportunity to find out how a company has been earning its money and how much have been earning over the year or half year. And what a company's future might look like. Now, around this time, a company's share price may not necessarily be driven by how much they are earning or if their profits rose or fell, but instead their share price will generally move higher or lower if their results are better or worse than what most analysts were expecting. So it's pretty important to be across expectations. Now, earnings across the market have broadly been improving since late last year, and that's because employment and business conditions are continuing to bolster with the Aussie economy on a recovery path. So analysts are thinking there'll be more pleasant surprises than negative ones. Citi is expecting 20% growth in broad market earnings in FY21. So this reporting season, I guess there's five key areas to watch. The first, stocks affected or exposed to consumer spending, which are likely to benefit from an increase in demand. Woolies, Sonic Healthcare, Harvey Norman, Charter Hall, and Australian Finance Group. They're all city buyers and I tip to have beaten City's expectations. Coca-Cola, Afterpay and Zip are also expected to report pretty strong numbers too. Whereas companies that may disappoint and our city sells include the ASX, Domino's, Blackmores and Nanosonics. Now secondly, keep an eye on some key mining companies likely to, I guess, deliver the goods and report stronger dividends and cash flows and historically low debt levels, all benefiting from rising commodity prices, China's economic recovery and record low interest rates. Resource sector earnings are set to grow 32% in FY21, according to Citi. Good results are expected among iron ore, copper, nickel and lithium companies too. Mount Gibson Iron, Fortescue, Sims Metals, Western Areas, Pilbara Minerals, Orocobre and Galaxy Resources all have got the potential to post better than expected results. Of note, MGX is a city and Macquarie buy. And thirdly, keep an eye on the banking sector. Although most banks aren't reporting at this reporting season, they're expected to show an 18% jump in earnings. That's according to Citi. So I guess think about what the sector is benefiting from. Rising credit, house sales being at record levels and mortgage demand at record highs. So dividends could return to the satisfaction of shareholders and analysts will be closely watching Combank and Bendigo. And fourthly, given the pivotal shift to working from home, spending at home and rent reductions, beneficiaries from these tailwinds include building materials, packaging companies, consumer stocks and tech names, which are likely to do well. On the flip side, watch transportation, infrastructure and property office REITs, which have the potential to disappoint. And the fifth theme to watch is international earners that could deliver sour grapes because the Aussie dollar has risen to two year highs, meaning our Aussie goods are more expensive overseas or to overseas buyers. So Cochlear and Fisher and Pycle may not do so well in terms of expectations. For more information, please head to Bell Potter's website or contact your advisor.